that, my good friends, is a really good example of what your crepe myrtle tree will look like after like 50 years. Uh, they're small trees until they get big, which takes like a half a century. But I'm down here in Lafayette and uh, we have this incredible morning lighting that lit up this beautiful Ligerstromia indica. Why do they call it indica? It's, uh, no, it's not, it's nothing to do with marijuana. It's actually because, well, actually it is a little bit because the reason they call cannabis indica is because it's from India. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> and so is this tree, it's from India. The Indian subcontinent to be exact, kind of all over. But uh, so the, the, the feature of this tree is, are the, uh, the flowers. The flowers are amazing on these beautiful plants. But what people don't really think about is in the wintertime, you know, it loses its leaves and so a lot of times you get really sad when a plant loses its leaves and I don't really like deciduous trees. I like happiness all the time, <laughs> every day. Um, but this gives you happiness even without the leaves. Why? Because of this beautiful, super gnarly, people use gnarly all the time, but this really is gnarly. That's gnarly right there. That's the correct usage of gnarly. Super awesome gnarly in a super awesome gnarly way. Um, but look at the coloration on the trunk here and these trees they get uh modeled uh so did i say the common name <laughs> it's the crepe myrtle i often indicate these plants just by their botanical names uh their latin names binomial name but this is uh crepe myrtle ligerstomia indica and uh it takes a very long time to get a tree this big uh and you can see this house is probably oh 1960 era and it, this tree was probably planted right about then and you can see they've lit it at night with this light here and uh, they're wonderful trees to light up because of the structure of the plant and we'll stand back and see how big it is but i wanted to show you that you know if you live long enough after you plant your crepe myrtle it can get huge that's probably 35 feet tall i bet you the books say this thing only gets 35 feet tall <laughs> So that's a pretty big crate myrtle. And you can imagine in the summertime, I should probably come back to this very same tree, have another video. It's right down the street from my house. And um, there's only two hour parking here. So that means my video can only be maybe two hours long, but I'll probably get it done before that. Um, but I'll come down here and get this thing in full bloom. Usually like August is when they're in full bloom here. But that is the crate myrtle when it is naked in the winter, showing off its gorgeous modulated trunk of Gorgeous, sexy, sexy, sexy foliage. No, that's not foliage, that's bark. Bark and trunk. Super gnarly.